This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. This weekend, a new Miss Greater Hazelton will be crowned. We'll give you the details on a special scholarship program next. Good evening, and thank you for joining us here at SSP TV. I'm John Eric Poli, sitting in for Ken Cara. Now let's get to all of your information from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. A special program aimed at spreading kindness is coming to our area this week, and you're invited. Rachel's Challenge is a national program designed to keep schools safer and to keep the dream of 17-year-old Rachel Scott alive. The teen was the first person killed in the Columbine High School shooting in 1999. Rachel's Challenge will host a public presentation on Thursday at 6 p.m. at Valley Elementary Middle School in Sugarloaf Township. School counselor Jill Rogers tells us that due to the sensitive nature of the presentation, the information is appropriate for adults and students 12 and up. The school will also offer a presentation for students in grades 5 through 8. During the day, Rogers afterwards said that the school will form a special club for students to focus on acts of kindness. The big guy in the red suit arrived on Saturday at the Laurel Mall. Jolly old St. Nick, commonly known as Santa Claus, came via fire trucks thanks to the Hazel Township Volunteer Fire Company. Santa was greeted by a huge crowd and a special performance by students of the Fabergé Follies Dance and Tumble Studio in Hazelton. Santa is now in residence at the Laurel Mall through Christmas Eve, and there is a family portrait center open at the mall on weekends. Contact the mall for more information. Well, who will be chosen as the next Miss Greater Hazelton? That title and several others will be awarded at the special event this weekend. Our Lisa Sugart has the details. Be different. That is the theme of the 7th Annual Miss Greater Hazelton Scholarship Program. Pleased to welcome back to our studios our good friend Sherry Hamanko, the founder of this wonderful program. Can't believe it's the 7th year. It's really hard to believe. Uh, the Miss Greater Hazelton Scholarship Program a theme that for this year is Be Different, and we're encouraging our candidates to celebrate what makes them unique. Uh, our program is a development program that encourages young women to improve their communication skills, share their talents, and prepare themselves for the future through service. Now, there are different ages involved in different titles, so give our viewers a little bit about what it's all about. We have our Rising Star program, which is for ages 4 to 12. It's open to young boys and girls, and it's an introductory program to have them feel what it's like to be up on stage in front of an audience. We have our teen division open to ages 12 to 17, which is competitive and gives scholarship opportunities to the young women. And then we have our Miss Division, which is for ages uh, 17 to 24. Now, this is important, too, because it is giving them the poise and the ability to be up there in public, but they're also getting scholarship money, so that's important. Absolutely. Each of our winners will be winning a $500 scholarship, and they will have the opportunity to go and compete at the next level and earn additional scholarship opportunities. And you tell me that each of these participants also has a platform, so they're educating the community as well. Absolutely. We've had... Uh, title holders that have promoted the American Cancer Society, Autism Awareness, Read to Succeed. Everybody has a, their own platform that they're promoting to make a difference. And our goal is to help them find appearances in the community, service projects that they could become involved in to make a difference with their service. You've seen the young ladies in that, the winners of these programs in the past years. What, what is your opinion of them and how has this program changed them and made them a better person? I think that it's made them proud of the community and the area that they're representing. Uh, they've come to find Hazleton as a very warm and welcoming community, and they've found that it's helped them grow both personally and professionally to make a difference in their future and their careers. So now we want our viewers out there to go and watch and see who will be winning this year's crowns. So the big event is happening this Sunday, November 24th, 5.45 p.m. at MMI Preparatory School in Freeland. You can get tickets in advance or at the door? Yes, that's correct. All righty. So if they want to get them in advance, they go to your website, correct? Yes, MissGreaterHazelton.Weebly.com. All right. Well, congratulations on another successful year, I'm sure it's going to be. And we will wait in anticipation to see who the winners are this year. Thank you very much.
Don't miss the program. That's the seventh annual Miss Greater Hazleton Scholarship Program this Sunday at MMI Preparatory School. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Temperatures are going to be over 40 degrees all week, and I'm very happy about that. Here's your weather from the National Weather Service. Tonight we have a slight chance of a drizzle or two, but for the most part, things are going to be cloudy and we'll have a low of 31 degrees. Now onto that four-day outlook where Tuesday will be partly sunny with a high of 42. Tuesday night will be mostly cloudy and we'll have a low of 32 degrees. Wednesday we have partly cloudy skies and a high near 41 degrees. Wednesday night things will stay partly cloudy and we have a low of 30. Thursday is once again partly cloudy with a high of 42. Thursday night there is a slight chance of showers mainly before 1 a.m. but for the most part that night will be cloudy and we'll have a low of 37. And we do lose the sun on Friday but check out that high it's near 50 degrees. That warmth isn't going to stick around now as Friday night temperatures drop down to 27 degrees. The Tamaqua High School football team continues to roll after Friday night's victory. The team is now in the PIAA Class 3A quarterfinals. Following Tamaqua's 47-21 win over Pope John Paul II, the Blue Raiders will now play Wild Missing, who is the District 3 champions. According to Penn Live, Wild Missing is ranked as the number one team in the state for Class 3A. The Blue Raiders will now try to do something that no team has been able to do this season, and that is hand while missing a loss. The Tamaqua and Wild Missing game is set for this Friday night at 7 p.m. at North, Sch North Schuylkill High School. Well, still ahead on SSP TV News, Standard Speaker Sports Editor Dave Seidman discusses legendary football coach Stan Dukoski's decision to return to Marion Catholic High School. But first, we take you to the cinema and draft house where a local man wrote all the music for the film Beast of the Seven Fishes. Now it's time for today's social report. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. On Wednesday, the PA Career Link Hazleton office will be hosting a healthcare industry job fair from 3 to 6 p.m. For more information, you can visit pacareerlink.pa.gov or like their Facebook page, PA Career Link of Luzerne County. Anyone like you to participate or be a vendor in the Festival of Reeds or the Holiday Night Market, you must RSVP by this Friday. To RSVP, you can call the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce or you can visit downtownhazleton.org. And the ninth concert for Rebecca and all victims of domestic violence will be held on Friday, November 29th from 6 until 10.30 p.m. at Sand Springs Country Club. All donations will be sent to the Domestic Violence Service Center and the Victims Resource Center. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Robert P. Meet Gasper of Hazleton. Mass be Wednesday at 10 a.m. at Church of St. Joseph. Friends may call Tuesday from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home. Margaret M. Kozlap of Jetto. The McEwell Check Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. Lois J. Shellhammer of Beaver Meadows. The Joseph B. Conahan Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. James R. Olshafer of Tresco. Funeral will be Wednesday at 10 a.m. at the John J. Pustai Funeral Home. Friends will call Tuesday from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Funeral Home. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.